Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim today in this video we are going to see API test or analytical profile index so let's start the video Now what is API test API test is actually the microbiology test in which we mostly identify the bacteria especially gram negative rods bacteria like klebsiella pseudomonas e coli proteus so these types of the bacteria if we identify so we mostly identify using api test now let's see that uh, what we required while performing that test so we need gloves as you can see bacterial colony we need api strip this is the api strip which contain 10 test this is api 10s okay now uh, we need a spirit or spirit lamp burner this is the unknown bacterial culture as you can see so we don't know what type of bacteria it is but it is actually the gnr we need a sterile water this is the sterile water in which we will mix our bacterial colony we need a distal water which we already pour it into the uh, tube and we will load it into the api tray now we need oil immersion this is the oil immersion as you can see we need wire loop this is the wire loop uh, we need a uh, endol uh, reagent which we will put after 24 hour at endol wells this is the endol well and then we need another uh, reagent which we call that tda which will which we will put into the tda wells so these are the things we also need api tray this is the api tray and this api tray contain an api cover as you can see and api uh, this also contain api uh, wells now we need distal water this distal water is used to fill up the wells now let's see that uh, how to perform this whole process so first of all what we will do so let's see the procedure of this test first of all we will take the gloves and we'll wear it so this is the rubber glove so we will wear it now after that we will take the distal water which is present into the append drop tube and we'll load it into the api tray that contain wells so now we will load it into the api wells api tray wells now after that what we will do so we are loading it now after that we will a little bit shake it so now once we shake it so what will happen the api wells will be uh, this that the wells in this tray will be fill up as you can see i think the water is a little bit low so we will add few, uh, more water uh, means from this sterile water so we will add more water as you can see a little bit more as you can see Now then we will gently shake and uh, well mix it and due to this way what will happen the uh, the wells will be fill up with water. Now then we will take our strip API strip and we will cover it into the tray as you can see. After that we will take the inoculated loop and this wire loop will be heat sterilized or we can say red hot. Now this wire loop is red hot as you can see it is completely sterilized and then we will take all bacteria but before that we will have to uh, cool down it as you can see a little bit we will you know shake it into the air uh, near the flame okay uh, to avoid the contamination and then we will uh, you know touch it at the specific point to make it cool and then we will take a bacterial colony as you can see now we will mix this bacterial colony into the sterile water as you can see so now it's become mixed then what we will do after that once it mix well so then we will again red hot and sterilize the wire loop before and after the use this is really important now after that we will take the syringe so this is the syringe and then what we will do 
we will you know take the uh, water which we mix in which we mix our bacterial colony so we will take the water as you can see it contain our bacterial colony and then what we will do after that so after that we will uh, remove the air it contain the air as you can see so we will remove the air and then we will load this water into these api strip wells so we will put the needle into the wells as you can see and then we will gently load the water that contain the bacterial colony uh, we will uh, gently press the well as you can see so this is opng this is the lcd this is the odc era sorry ar this is the ldc this is the ODC and after that we will fill the seed rate as you can see. Now after that we will uh, load uh, the water into this uh, H2S. So this is the H2S then we will load it into the urea. After that we will load it into the TDA and finally into the endole. Now once we will load our bacteria into each uh, wells so then what we will do after that we will cover it okay we will cover the strip with uh, no uh, before that first of all we will have to add the oil immersion as you can see the test that have underlined so at that specific point what we will do we will add the oil immersion this oil immersion will uh, you know uh, important to perform uh, just for the oxidation process that's why oil immersion is really important now the water which we loaded into the wells it is important for the oxidation and uh, the oil which we, we are putting it is important for uh, to prevent the oxidation process as you can see so we need uh, oxidation and uh, in some cases we need uh, uh, without oxygen uh, that's why we putting the oil immersion so once we loaded the oil immersion after that what we will do we will cover the this strip with this cover so now it become covered after that what we will do we will label this api whole uh, strip with a uh, patient id so this is 230 id and you means we isolate it from the uh, we take it from the urine then we will take the strip and we'll put it into the incubator for the incubation at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hour now after the 24 hour incubation or we can say at next day then what we will do we will examine the strip now this is the changes in the strip after 24 hour incubation we will note these changes uh, and the test which are positive we will uh, write positive and the test which are negative we will put uh, we will uh, write negative first of all we will add uh, the tda reagent at tda wells uh, which is really important one drop we will add uh, tda reagents okay and then after addition this then we will add endole reagent one drop of the endole reagent at the endole wells in the case of glucose which is the second well we also add nitrate which is really important okay so i already added the nitrate and then what we will do we will wait for two to three minutes sometime we will add five minutes after uh, two to three minutes uh, so then what we will do we will write down the result so the first result opng it is positive means yellow color so it is positive so we will write plus so opng is the first position so we will write positive sign now after that the second as you can see the second is also glucose so it is also positive yellow color we will have yellow color so what is it it is also positive okay so we will write positive third we have arabinose so it is also red orange or we can say yellow so it is again positive so what we will write we will write positive sign at arabinose position then next we have lc ldc it is again red orange and uh, this is also what positive so we will write positive next we have odc so odc is again red orange so again this is what this is also positive so we will write a positive third we have uh, after that we have what set rate now set rate is pale green uh, so this is actually negative okay so we will write here negative 
after that we have h2s which should be black but here it is colorless so it is what this is also negative urea is also negative because it should be uh, red orange or pink in color so it is also yellow so it is negative so we will write here negative then what we will have we next we have uh, the tda which is the uh, also negative so we will write here negative then we will uh, have indole which is pink in color so it is green in color so it is also negative so we will write here negative after that we, we have a oxidase which i already performed it is also negative and no2 which i already also performed so it is actually positive because glucose is positive so no2 is also positive so what we will get we get a code so let me write uh one two four when we add it so we get seven after that when we add one two so we get three after that what we will do we will add the next three rows so there is negative result so we will put zero and after that at the second three row we get four so the code is 7304 so let's see the code so this is the 7304 and this code is actually matching let me show the picture so it is matching this is the 7304 as you can see i already you know encircle it so it is matching uh hafnia uh, enterobacter genus sertia and e coli as it is the urine so what we will say it will be the e coli because in the urine the rest of the bacteria is not present but e coli is the most common bacteria that's why we will say e coli so the bacteria which is present uh, in this petri plate this is what this is the e coli okay so what we get we get the e coli bacterial colony so That's this is all about the api yeah. test i hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video so make sure to hit the like button and share this video thank you